The observable universe spans 93 billion light years, a distance beyond our comprehension. In this cosmic space are more than two trillion galaxies, each teeming with billions of stars. The scale of the universe is a marvel, but it is not just its size that fascinates us, it is its complexity. The cosmic web, a network of galaxies and dark matter, forms a structure that resembles a vast, interconnected network. Now let's travel to a place equally complex and impressive, the human brain. Composed of some 86 billion neurons, each neuron in the brain is connected to thousands of other neurons, forming a network of unprecedented complexity. The striking similarities between the cosmic web and neural networks are more than a poetic metaphor. It's a scientific curiosity that's led researchers to explore the quantitative similarities between the two systems. Could it be that the universe with its billions of galaxies is reflected in the complex neural networks of our brains? Are we in some deep sense a reflection of the cosmos itself? Could it be that the great design of the universe is reflected in the very essence of our being? Do the laws that govern the stars also govern the complex dance of neurons in our minds? These questions, once the domain of philosophers are now being explored by scientists who are uncovering a connection that may be the key to understanding not only the universe, but also ourselves. Since the dawn of human consciousness, we've been attracted to patterns. The first humans looked up at the night sky, recognizing constellations and tracing the predictable movement of celestial bodies. They observed the cycles of the moon, the changing seasons, and the complex symmetry of leaves and shells. This innate ability to find patterns in nature is not just curiosity. It's a fundamental aspect of our intelligence, the way we understand the world around us. As we evolved, our understanding of patterns changed. We began to realize that these patterns were not simple coincidences, but were governed by fundamental principles and laws. The ancient Greeks discovered the golden ratio, a mathematic constant found in architecture, art, and even the human body. Mathematicians such as Fibonacci discovered sequences that describe the growth patterns of plants and the spiral motion of galaxies. Natural patterns are not limited to static shapes and numbers. They are dynamic, unfolding in time and space. The branching of a tree, the winding course of a river, the swirling of clouds, everything is subject to mathematical patterns and fractal geometry. These patterns are self-similar, that is, they look the same at any scale, whether you're looking at a single leaf or an entire forest. In the modern age, our search for patterns has led to revolutionary discoveries. The double helical structure of DNA, the strange world of quantum physics, and the butterfly effect in chaos theory all reveal a universe governed by patterns and laws. These discoveries have not only expanded our understanding of the universe, but have also shaped our technology, medicine, and philosophy. But what drives this relentless search for patterns? Is it simply a survival tool, or does it hint at a deeper connection between us and the cosmos? Could our ability to recognize patterns be a reflection of the inner order of the universe, a cosmic signature imprinted in our very being? In a field of scientific research where the mysteries of the cosmos meet the riddles of the human mind, the research of Franco Vaza and Alberto Folletti serve as a beacon of innovation. Their pioneering work has opened new doors in our understanding of the universe and neural networks, revealing striking similarities that challenge our very perception of reality. At the heart of their research is a question that's intrigued scientists and philosophers alike. Is there a connection between the structure of the universe and the neural networks in our brains? Voss and Folletti have plunged headlong into exploring this question using cutting-edge technology and mathematical models. 
Their approach was quite quantitative and focused on the distribution of matter in the cosmic web and the connections between brain neurons. By analyzing large data sets and applying advanced algorithms, they found that the structure of the universe and neural networks obey a similar pattern known as degree distribution. A staggered distribution is a mathematical relationship in which a small number of nodes have many links and most have only a few links. This pattern is found in a variety of natural phenomena, from the internet to social networks. Vasa and Folletti found that the same pattern exists in both the cosmic web and the neural networks of the brain. The implications of this discovery are profound. It suggests that the universe and the human brain share a common architecture, a universal structure that transcends scale and complexity. This connection is not just a poetic metaphor, but a scientific reality, a cosmic signature that resonates in the very fabric of existence. The innovative research of Franco Vassa and Alberto Folletti has ignited a spark in the scientific community. Their discovery of structural similarities between the universe and neural networks has opened new doors, leading to a lively dialogue among experts. Dr. Alberto Folletti commented, Our study is just the beginning of a longer story. We have shown quantitative similarities between these two systems in structural terms. The architectures of these complex networks look strikingly similar. Combining the efforts of neurobiology and astrophysics can expand our ability to get more results. The significance of their findings goes beyond mere academic curiosity. From understanding dark energy to the development of artificial intelligence, the potential applications are enormous. Dr. Alberto Folletti also added, if we can demonstrate the similarities between a network such as a neural network and the structure of the universe, we may be able to gain more detailed information about the universe and galaxies. This merging of analysis tools from two different disciplines may help in accelerating the process of developing artificial intelligence or artificial neural networks. But the study has also sparked reactions outside the scientific community. Some have used the results to justify creationist theories or New Age viewpoints. Vasa and Folletti clearly emphasize that their work is based on scientific research and has nothing to do with creationist theories or metaphysics. The future of this research is filled with hope and curiosity. Both researchers express a desire to continue exploring this area by looking deeper into the comparison of these two complex systems. They believe that these results need to be analyzed with more sophisticated tools and that the next steps involve moving to a higher level of complexity comparison. As we delve into the mysteries of the mind and the cosmos, we enter a paradox that has both fascinated and puzzled thinkers for generations. In the vast expanse of the universe, where time and space stretch beyond comprehension, lies a paradox that has baffled philosophers and scientists alike, the paradox of Boltzmann's brain. This paradox is named after 19th century physicist Ludwig Boltzmann, and it delves into the very nature of reality and our understanding of consciousness. Boltzmann's original idea was rooted in statistical mechanics, which studied the probability of random fluctuations in a system. Imagine a universe filled with chaos where particles are in constant motion. In this chaos, there's negligible chance that the particles could randomly line up and form a self-conscious brain. This brain existing for a fleeting moment would have thoughts, memories, and perceptions of reality, all without a body or a world to live in. The paradox arises when we take into account the vastness of the universe and an infinite amount of time. Given enough time, the random formation of such a brain becomes not just possible, but inevitable. This leads to the unsettling conclusion that it's more likely for a solitary, self-aware brain to exist in the void than for our entire observed universe to have evolved it as it has. The implications of the Boltzmann brain paradox are profound and disturbing. If the existence of such a brain is more likely than the existence of our universe, 
What does this say about our reality? Are our perceptions and experiences merely illusions? Are we too just momentary fluctuations of cosmic chaos? The paradox has sparked debate and reflection among philosophers, scientists, and thinkers. Some see it as a challenge to our understanding of probability and the nature of existence. Others see it as a metaphorical exploration of solipism, the philosophical idea that only the mind of man necessarily exists. From Boltzmann's enigmatic brain paradox, we venture further into the uncharted territories of consciousness. The question that has intrigued scientists and philosophers alike is whether the universe itself can be conscious. The idea that the universe may possess consciousness is not new. This concept has been explored in various philosophical traditions and resonated in some scientific theories. Historically, the concept of a conscious universe has been associated with panpsychism, the philosophical view that all things possess consciousness. This idea has been adopted by some Eastern and Western philosophical traditions, suggesting that consciousness is a fundamental aspect of reality. In the realm of science, theories suggesting that the universe may possess consciousness have emerged from the study of quantum mechanics, some interpretations of quantum theory suggest that consciousness plays a role in the collapse of the wave function, implying that the observer and the observed are interconnected. Cosmologists and neurobiologists have also explored this concept to understand how consciousness might manifest itself on a cosmic scale. Theories such as Integrated Information Theory, or IIT, suggest that systems with a high degree of complexity and integration may possess consciousness. This leads to the tantalizing possibility that the universe, with its complex web of galaxies and cosmic structures, may have a form of consciousness. The idea of a conscious universe is still a subject of debate and research, yet it's firmly planted in the realm of speculation. Although it encourages us to think about our place in the cosmos and the interconnectedness of all things, the idea enters metaphysical territory and should therefore be treated with caution and critical thinking. Having considered speculative ideas of a conscious universe, we turn our attention to a more grounded and scientific theory, the fundamental theory of consciousness of Donald Goffman. Dr. Donald Goffman, a renowned neuroscientist and philosopher has devoted his life to unraveling the mysteries of consciousness. His groundbreaking theory seeks to explain one of the most mysterious phenomena in existence, the nature of conscious awareness. Gossman's theory is built on the premise that consciousness is not simply a byproduct of complex computations in the brain. Instead, he argues that consciousness is a fundamental aspect of reality akin to space and time. Drawing on quantum mechanics, neurobiology, and philosophy, Goffman's theory explores the interplay between micro and macro levels of existence. He suggests that consciousness arises from the complex interactions of quantum particles within the brain governed by principles beyond traditional physics. Goffman's work has led to new experiments and collaborations across scientific disciplines. His theory has been tested through rigorous empirical research using advanced technology to explore the depths of consciousness. Although Goffman's theory has received the support and admiration of many in the scientific community, it has not been without controversy. Critics argue that the theory's reliance on quantum mechanics and its bold claims about the nature of reality require further confirmation and study. Nevertheless, Donald Goffman's fundamental theory of consciousness offers a new view of consciousness that bridges science and philosophy. The connections between the universe and neural networks go beyond mere scientific curiosity. They open the door to deep philosophical reflection and have broader implications for our understanding of existence. These connections invite us to see the universe not as a collection of isolated objects, but as an interconnected network of relationships. They inspire new ways of looking at technology, ethics, and our responsibilities as inhabitants of the cosmos. 
The study of the universe and consciousness has been a central theme of philosophy for millennia. From ancient Greek thinkers to modern philosophers, the quest to understand reality, existence, and our place in the universe has shaped human thinking. Some see the universe as a deterministic machine, while others take a more mystical view. The connections between the universe and the mind only add a new dimension to this age-old debate. The idea of interconnectedness is not just a scientific observation. It is a call to reflection. It invites us to see ourselves as part of a greater whole, realizing the delicate balance of life and the universe. It forces us to think beyond ourselves and consider the impact of our actions on the wider cosmos. The journey ahead promises exciting discoveries. While the connections between the universe and neural networks are fascinating, it's important to approach them with scientific rigor. Misinterpretations and sensationalism can lead to misunderstandings and detract from the true scientific value of these discoveries. So let our curiosity guide us in our explanation of the cosmos and let our critical thinking help us stay grounded as we continue to explore the uncharted territories of understanding the universe.